guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm posting this on the Puta Stamps channel because why not? But today I'm going to be showing you guys everything I've learned so far. Um, learning HTML um, and CSS. I haven't gotten to JavaScript yet, but I will very soon. So basically, everything we have here is this website I made myself. And I made it with HTML and CSS, and I just started learning this about a week ago. I think it's been over a week or two. I'm not that sure, but this is the HTML homepage link. This is our style sheet right here. Um, I guess we can start off. I learned about the doc type HTML, um, the heading, and that you need to put the title inside of the heading in order to get a heading. Um, I learned about the divisions here, um, how to incorporate an image, which is image src equals, and then the link. Um, divisions is just basically dividing the web page, I guess you could say. If you look over here, if you see a division with not without a slash, this is the beginning of a division. So over here we have one division, and then this is where it ends. So it starts with the image, and then the information. So over here we have um, here, and then it ends with this. Um, so yeah, over here is our title. Title is just the name of the web page. So let's say you go to the search up Amazon. Over here, you see how it says Amazon? That's basically how you get that title, or over here. There's a certain way to get it to look like that. And it's just basically getting the head and the title. Um, we have our P classes, which is just our paragraphs, our information. Um, you don't have to have a P class, but I think it's like recommended. We have our headings, which starts with H. So if you ever see like an H, um, it's a heading. So here we have one H. Here we have another heading. Um, I think we have another heading over here, H4. So the bigger the number it goes to, the smaller the title or the heading is going to look like, basically. I also learned about um, incorporating websites with it. So in order to incorporate a website into H HTML, we have to have a href, as you can see right here. So this is just basically a link, linking to somewhere. So if I have one website, this is... Overwatch highlights. Um, this is how the web pa web page looks basically, but this is a link that I made, and if you press the Overwatch highlights, it links you to whatever you want to link it to. In order to do that, we do I don't know if I'm gonna put it down here, just to show you guys. We do a href equals, and then you put like a random website, um, and then you just close it out with the slash. Um, when you close out a bunch of things, it usually has a slash at the end. So if you start off with HTML, you have to end it with a slash. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's right here. The forward slash. Um, if you guys want me to make videos on teaching HTML, I would do that. I just started, so I'm in the beginner level, but... I would still like to show you guys what I learned. Um, something else I learned was input, which is basically what you see here. Right here is just inputting information, like if you want to log in somewhere, um, you just put your username and then your password. Um, so let's say usernames like county sheriff one two three. And then your password doesn't really matter. Um, the reason why it looks like this, most time, like when you sign up somewhere, you have this little eye right here and your login doesn't show. The reason why it looks like that is because we have the input type as password, which means that it's going to hide whatever you input. Um, if you and then you have the placeholder is just the title of it. So over here we have enter here. Or I don't know if you can see it. 
uh, we put the placeholder as enter here, um, which means just to enter in the information, basically telling the customer, like, not the customer, but whoever's on the page, like, put it on here. Uh, I learned today how to put a, how to make a button into a link. So it's basically just form action, and then you put the link. And again, I did learn this on Stack Overflow, this little part right here. So, it's kind of funny. But, and then you put the input type as a submit value, and then into login. So, once you press that, login, it's not going to work here, but if you press login here, it's going to redirect you. And it actually saves the password from this little fake web page I made, which is funny. But, yeah, this is just really cool that I actually made a button go into becoming a login input type like that's just awesome I learned that today not something new um, something else I learned um, was the style sheet which is a very complicated part of HTML I don't know if I'm slow or something or if I don't learn as others but it really took me a while to understand this style sheet. I'm still kind of on the iffy side about it because it took me a long time to comprehend what style sheet was, how to get it to look like that, how to understand style sheet. So basically style sheet is basically how you edit the page without it being on here. You can add all of this onto this page, but it's just I guess coders don't like all that extra stuff on their page that's unnecessary, so they made a style sheet, which is from CSS. So this is moving next to CSS. I'm not on the JavaScript part yet. Um, I'm still learning CSS, the basics, and the first basic is the style sheet, which is kind of hard to learn, but if you guys want to learn that, I would totally help you guys out, because for me, it was just very difficult. It took me a while to be like, Oh, I understand it. But here we have our style sheets. And this is just basically to enter a style sheet, you have to have this link resolution to the style sheet. This is just going to be linking all the information you put here onto your home page, which is not that, but your home page or the page you made. Um, so, yeah, and then you can edit anything you want. So you name one of your H stuff something, it's going to turn out to be something else. Um, so yeah, I just named a bunch of things. This is for the body. The background color is pink. So let's say if we want to change it to um, there comes a lot of different things here. Let's say we want to change it to midnight blue. If you run the code, it's going to change it to midnight blue. So that's really cool about style CSS. Um, I learned about how to edit your web page, and I'm not even done. So I just started beginning the web page. I know it looks really stupid, but I'm trying to learn slowly. It's not going to happen so fast. But yeah, I'm going to change it back to pink. Sorry. But yeah, this is basically how it is um, to add borders around your pictures took me a while to get it, but you put the IMG border solid. Um, this is these are called classes right here. You see this these names right here with the with the period in front of it. Those are classes. Um, I do have classes here. See here's one class. I have another class right here. That's just distinguishing everything in whatever you put it in. So, if I have the class here, I can edit it over here, because I named it a class. So, since I named this one Bunny, our Bunny class right here is the only thing that's going to be edited with the information I put in here. So, with the Bunny class is this picture right here. This is my Bunny class. So, I put it as a border. I wanted it to be solid, and I wanted the border to be white. And if I put it as black, board is going to be black, as you can see over here. But I didn't want it to be black like these ones over here, so I had to create a class. Um, 
in order to specify that I want this exact image to be white. This video is already really long, but yeah, that's basically it. Um, the last thing I learned today was how to add a class to an image, which is very difficult. Like I had, it took me a while to get it, but this is basically how it is. I don't know whose this page is, but I got it off them. It says image SRC class profile photo. This is how you add a class to an image. Um, because I didn't know how to do that. So now my image has its own class right here. As you can see, that's our image class. So that's everything that I've learned so far with HTML and CSS. And I'm a beginner again, I just started. But this is really fun. I got to make my own little website and incorporate things I wanted. And you guys should totally do the same thing. Subscribe and share this video.